Ooh. I was not expecting that. It's a bit loud, isn't it? Please, please. Up and early, although I woke up a bit late and I'd actually booked a train to Bush. I was still well on time, I could have even walked. But I ordered an Uber. Train's annoying. Yeah, so I ordered an Uber. But the guy took so long, it literally said 12 minutes first, then it changed to six minutes. Then it changed to 15 minutes, but the guy took like 25 minutes. So basically I missed the train, but um, I spoke to one of the staff and he said, it's fine, as long as you've got a ticket, it's valid, so it doesn't matter if you miss the train. So it's calm, we're going to Bruges. So I made it to Bruges and Pouring down my rain. If I'm honest. <laughs> if you know me, you know I hate rain. And in Brussels it hasn't been too bad in comparison to London right now. London she just been pouring down. But uh, it's raining a lot right now, but it's at the same time it's not that intense, so yeah, let's they still try to have a good time. My first stop in Bruges was St. Salvatore Cathedral. Now, like Brussels, Bruges is full of Gothic architecture, especially in the churches. Other churches you can check out include Church of Our Lady and Basilica of the Holy Blood. So I've been walking around a bit and I was feeling cold so I was gonna go and buy a top but it's kind of warmed up now and yeah I feel like I need something in my stomach so I've come to a place now where they have well different hot chocolate to what you're used to I'll explain it when we're inside loads of different choices of hot chocolate that you can have so we have the classic um, hot chocolates um, they've even got a mango spiced one I've gone with the salted caramel and as well as that I got a, a Belgian waffle just butter and sugar plain one because probably will be too sweet regardless anyway but the way it works you get this little cup which is completely made of chocolate and you just place it into this bowl and just pour it in Moving on, and just like in Brussels, there's a farm plus here or Market Square. Market, so many different names. Um, but again, yes, yeah, another Market Square here. Really nice. It's different to the one in Brussels. Brussels, obviously, it's a lot of guild halls and town halls, um, and the town hall and the buildings are all just kind of plated with gold. Here, it's just it looks more kind of just historic really yeah it's really nice though 
So I was just about to mention the Belfry here. Probably come a bit closer to it. The Belfry is probably the most noticeable thing here. And yeah, it's a shame that while the market's good, it's a shame that it is here because it kind of blocks your view of everything. There's so many really nice buildings here, but I don't think you can block this. It is stunning, and I'll actually be going on that. Um, we'll see if I can walk up the steps of it. So, on the Belfort now, or Belfry, and it's very echoey here. But I'm about to go up all the steps. I was just reading something and it's really interesting because in like medieval times they used to ring the bell to kind of organise people's days for them so they'll ring the bell to tell you it's time to go to work and they'll ring the bell to tell you it's lunch time pretty much like school. After taking in the beautiful view of Bruges, I went back to the old chocolate house where underneath the tea room, they actually sell some delicious traditional Belgian chocolate. Ooh. I was not expecting that. Ooh. What? See this here? This is banging. It's got. Wait. It's got marzipan inside, and I don't. I don't usually like marzipan that much. But this. Chocolat. It's good. It's so bon. to get some food. First place we went to, unfortunately of all days it was closed today but we've come to a great place called Cambonus and it's really famous for having like 400 different types of beer which is great if you love beer which I don't <laughs> but I think today I'm gonna try one of their beers you know what I mean I'm not mm, not sure if I'm gonna like it but hopefully I will <laughs> 